accuracy and plow through. This is a Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Selenko Whiteout 305 XTD. With an extra half inch, the Whiteout 305 Extended is 98 square inches with a 16 by 19 string pattern and a swing weight over 330, guaranteeing it will help redirect pace and push opponents back with heavy ground strokes. The 40T carbon fiber at 3 and 9 o'clock result in a large sweet spot, while the 21.7 millimeter flat beam features technology to help dampen vibrations at impact. Selenko has also created the ability to customize this racket with their weighted butt caps, which can add 5 or 10 grams to the racket's overall static weight and will shift the balance to make it more headlight. Experienced players and lovers of extended rackets will want to add this to the demo list. I'm going to start us off mainly because I want to try and get this term into the video before another playtester uses it. This racket was completely a guilty pleasure for me. When I started the playtest off, I definitely noticed that hefty swing weight right away. When I was drilling, sometimes it did feel a little demanding. And then I thought that it wasn't maybe the best racket for me to go into point play with because it was a bit harder. I did feel like I needed to shorten up my backswing and swing a little bit bigger through the ball. However, once I did get into that point play, I was well rewarded with the plow through from this racket and the targeting. I felt really dialed in and connected to my shots. If I'm gonna be a little bit critical, I did find the sweet spot to feel a little bit smaller than maybe even the standard length version. However, the benefits outweighed that small issue that I had, and I loved how stable it was and how much plow I got on my returns. I felt really good serving with this racket, and it definitely is one of those rackets that I enjoyed playing points with, and it's super hefty and really fun, fits right into my wheelhouse. So excited to keep playing with this one. I was really excited to be named to this play test, the new Selenko Whiteout 305 XTD. I've been playing with some uh, standard length frames. Everyone knows that I really like my extended lengths. There just aren't nearly as many options to consider. This one happens to bring me right back and ask myself the question, why am I not currently playing with a 27 and a half inch length frame? Uh, this racket had very usable, realistic power for me. No problem reaching the baseline or even past there. But it really seemed like the extra half inch compared to say the standard length 305, it just made everything more penetrating, maybe 5% better on all my shots. And I will say that, you know, after being used to playing with a shorter frame, it took a little bit of time to transition. But again, once I see my shots, that way they're so rewarding, it just kind of coaches you on to learn that lever even more. So yeah, it's a firm layup of graphite. I'm definitely getting some energy return. Longer frames always complement my backhand slice very well, so I really didn't have any other issue at all. I'm gonna play a Father's Day tournament with this racket, uh, singles and doubles, hopefully it goes well, but I'm confident enough with this racket to definitely say give it a try. I was excited to play test this extended version of the Whiteout 305. I was on the regular standard length version and uh, with the extra half inch of length, it kicked up the swing weight, sort of right in my wheelhouse as we like to say, and uh, pretty much liked everything uh, more about this one than the standard length. Um, as far as the feel goes, it has a nice, uh, I'd say firm, crisp feel. I definitely would put this one more in the realm of like a Wilson Pro Staff, Technifiber T-Fight, or like a Babolat Pure Strike as far as stiffness goes. Um, so maybe just a little crisper than I'm kind of used to with, uh, with my E-Zone 98 Extended. But um, other than that, uh, the string spacing's really wide open, so I got easy access to spin from the baseline. Um, I found on serve, I was getting a lot of pop, so the flat serves, I could get a little extra zip from that added length and swing weight, and then the open pattern uh, really helped me get a, a lot of top spin on the kick serve. So liked it as far as that aspect goes. Um, that crisp feel was really evident at net. I felt like this racket was very point and shoot. The, the ball got in and out real quick. I could hit my spots and there was still um, good enough touch from that kind of relatively thinner beam. So overall, I really liked this racket. Um, I'd put this one pretty close to a couple of my favorite Yonex extendeds, the E-Zone and the V-Core, but maybe if I just had my way, just a, maybe just a tad firm and crisp for my liking. I broke out the closest thing I've got to Wimbledon Whites for this playtest of the Selenko Whiteout 305 in the extended uh, length here and much more plow through from this version I found from even the standard length one comes through the ball really nicely. This one really plows through, big power off the ground. I like taking a big swing with this one with the blackout extended. I was play, taking more of an abbreviated swing and taking the ball early. This one I like to be hanging a little deeper, using that mass to get good pace, good depth on my shots. Um, super easy access to spin, really enjoyed it. Probably the most on my backhand slice. It was by far one of my favorite shots to hit with this 
racket, could really drive through the ball well with it, hit a nice knifing, low skidding slice. I served well with it too, my slice serve out wide was working and again good pace on the first serve when I'm going down the tee. And then up at net, very solid, very stable. The blackout version is a little quicker, a bit better double stick for me, but this one if you've got good technique I think it's going to be a rock solid racket in your hands at net. So fun play test for me, really enjoyed this one. We were able to play test the Stalinko Whiteout XTD with a bunch of different string types, but we loved it with Stalinko's Hyper G as well as Stalinko's Turbite, and we settled in at 53 pounds. To learn more about this racket and many others, go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.